Hello everyone, hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software named as PNP Cam for Windows. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is PNP Cam for Windows, what are its features and characteristics, and then we move to our next part which is a practical one in which we have download in which we have tell you that how you download the pnp software and how you get the file and then then move on how you install them and finally to make them live and configure them so keep watching talent this video is very important so please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start our video what is pnp cam for windows it is a software application that is used to connect cameras for pcs you can get your device from any place thus this application help you monitor your site from anywhere the pnp cam for windows is designed and marketed by a company the pnp organization also manufactured the ccv cct products the PNP Cam for Windows app has more than one lakh uploads successfully since its inception in July 2018. This software with Android version 2.3 and above it has rating 3 plus which is an above rate, above average rating. Now it's if you are talking about its feature and attribute or characteristics, then this folder gives us a live telecast of every action. You get the footage of any images in real time. There is no time lag between the video and capturing and release. It means that it, auto, it can automatically adjust the band frame rate of the camera according to bandwidth. The device can be operated from the far away places with the support of this app. It can connect the devices by scanning the keyboard code or manually add the side devices. This CMS will sub support p cameras. You can pan, tilt, and zoom the gadget from anywhere. It supports the two-way communication. You can speak, listen, and watch as well if you, the camera is audio enabled. Now, if we talk, if you are talking about system requirements, then uh, it takes at least 4 GB of RAM and 4 i3 processor, and at least 500 MB of hard drive. So let's start the practical parts. So what should we do? open the chrome browser and or any browser in my case i am using chrome so i and google for pnp cam for windows and then press enter when you press enter here you find the top of the list one of the my favorite website ccgbdesk.com in it in this website you get every software with ease open the link just scroll down a little and you find a download button now click on in my case i am using windows so i definitely go for download for windows pc os and then click on the download button wait for a few min few minutes it will lead to a page where you have to stay for 10 seconds it takes time to make the download button visible now you find that your download button is visible now click on this when you click on this please start downloading now a download is, is completed now click on this arrow button and click show in folder when you click in show in folder it will lead direct to your to your download page where you find your downloaded file this is our downloaded file the first thing you should do is right click on that downloaded file and click as run as and click as extract when you click extract you find the folder with the same file name here is our folder so open the folder and inside that you find an, our application file or exe or installer file just right click on the installer file and click as run as administrator and click yes now click ok again click next 
once again click next and now click on install it will take few seconds to complete the installation let now that you get the successful message of completing the installation setup has been finished installing OKM on your computer now click this run OKM or OKM because when you click this it will automatically open the software when, you, when, when I click finish now first thing you should do you should re register now after that make any account like in our case I am using this check 1 2 3 4 after that it is the where I, I should ask a password Now click OK. Now click on auto login. When you click on auto login, you won't do again and again. You won't need to insert password again and again. Now click login. When you click on login, it will redirect to your interface of the software. This is the interface of the software. The first thing you should do you should add multiple cameras or add cameras so here it's option of add cameras now move i move my screen to single cameras and then click add camera after that i should enter my uid if my camera and my pc connect to same network then just click on the find okay so here is my uid here I enter my UID and password is please note that the UID and the password is, is the password of your device means the camera you are adding so please so please don't confuse and here is adaptive adaptive means when your bandwidth is low the camera frame rate is lowered and when your frame rate is high you get a better picture so and now click, click OK when you click OK, the camera is live on the screen. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.